Hey everyone, really quick video for you today. Yesterday Nintendo informed us that the Oracle games from the Game Boy Color are going to be available to play on the Nintendo Switch, and they should be live by the time this video is posted. I love the Oracle games, they're my favorite 2D Zelda games, and some of my favorite Zelda overall, and I think they're hugely underrated and overlooked. So not only am I thrilled with their inclusion on Nintendo Online, I'm also really happy that it looks like quite a lot of people are planning to play them for the first time. However, I've also seen a lot of people wonder what order they should be playing the games in since they were released Pokemon style alongside one another without a clear first option. And as somebody who has played these games to death, I feel qualified to answer this question. If you're just here for a simple answer, I'm going to give a short and to the point explanation that will have no spoilers or anything like that. And then if you're willing to listen, I'll pontificate a bit more on what I think the best play order is and some potential alternatives. But here's the answer. While there is no specific order, the games are made to be played in any order, with NPCs from the first game you play appearing in the playthrough of the second game, each one has a significantly different gameplay focus. Oracle of Seasons has a much stronger focus on action, exploration, and combat, whereas Ages has a much stronger focus on puzzle solving. I think Ages is a significantly harder game, and as a result I recommend you play Seasons first and Ages second. Especially if you haven't played 2D Zelda in a while, or this is your first playthrough period, this playthrough will ease you into things with an experience that centers more around combat and has dungeons that start off trivially easy and ramp up to a little difficult. Then when you move over to Ages, you'll have already mastered combat so none of the enemies or bosses should give you much difficulty, and dungeon progression will continue from where it left off, with the early Ages dungeons being on par with the late game dungeons of Seasons and only getting more deviant as things go along. Then you'll be prepared for the final battle in the true ending which you earn by completing both games. And that's my short answer, Seasons and then Ages. Ages and then Seasons is a totally viable playthrough and you'll have to do a playthrough of both orders if you want to see everything the games have to offer, since whatever game you play first will not have any of the bonus NPCs. However, for a first time playthrough I strongly discourage Ages before Seasons as often as I can. To be totally abrupt, Ages is an extremely difficult game for people who struggle with 2D Zelda. Jabu Jabu's Belly is constantly considered to be one of the most difficult Zelda dungeons of all time and especially for those who don't have a lot of 2D Zelda experience or just haven't played a 2D Zelda game in a while, the Ages experience can be literally soul crushing. I have watched with my own eyes somebody start with Ages and have such a miserable experience that they swore off 2D Zelda entirely. Thankfully I was later able to sway them away from that rash decision. Capcom had zero chill when they were designing some of these dungeons, which is why I think playing Seasons first is such a great idea, because it has a dungeon progression far more similar to traditional Zelda games, where things start off easy and then end sort of difficult. Because don't get me wrong, there are some real stumpers in Oracle of Seasons, but they are really only at the tail end of the game, and the temples before them are much simpler. So starting with Seasons and then moving on to Ages will offer a more or less constant but gradual escalation of difficulty, whereas starting with Ages and then moving on to Seasons will see a drastic and sharp escalation, followed by a comically large drop and a re-escalation that barely comes close to the original. This is not a big deal at all if you know what to expect, but it can absolutely blindside you if you have no idea. But if you do consider yourself a proficient puzzle solver, and the idea of being met with a sharp challenge right off the bat doesn't bother you, then Ages First isn't off the table. At that point, it all comes down to playstyle preference, the action and combat focus of Seasons, or the intricate and difficult yet satisfying puzzles of Ages. There are some other things to consider too, namely the equipment that transfers over. Each game has a number of exclusive rings that cannot be obtained in the other game, and there are even some rings that can only be obtained in linked game playthroughs. In the description I've supplied a link to a website that will explain what each exclusive ring does because if I was to go over each of them it would triple the length of this video. But that's basically all I have for this video, short and sweet. If you're playing these games for the first time, I sure hope you enjoy them. They're very special to me, if you couldn't tell by my choice of avatar. 
Despite being made by Capcom, they are Zelda games through and through, and I honestly think they were made with a type of love that can only really come from a fan and not the creators, who can oftentimes be blind to what people love so much about their series. There are so many odes to Ocarina of Time and classic 2D Zelda games of the past, and Capcom honors the legacy of Zelda in the best way it possibly can by making a really great Zelda game. Zelda games that are so good in my opinion that they surpass the rest of the 2D games in the series. I love these games games and I hope you do too. Let me know in the comments below if you found this helpful, what game you'll be starting with first if this is your first playthrough, or if it's a replay for you, also let me know what you start with. Thanks for watching, and sorry about the gap in uploads. I actually planned on having a different video out today, but when the news about the Oracle games came out I just had to stop what I was doing and make this video. The pleasant part about that is the second video is basically ready to go, so for the first time in a very long time, there will be two uploads within a week of one another. As always, thanks for watching. If you'd like to support me, you can do so by subscribing, liking the video, leaving me a comment, arguing with somebody in the comments section, or you can come follow me on Twitter, or X, I guess now. Anyways, you can also come join our community on Discord if you'd like to talk to me personally. If you'd like to support more directly, you can always hop over to Patreon and throw me a dollar to get your very own Subrosian and the Subrosian Parade that you saw earlier in the video. But nothing means more to me than you making it to the end of the video, so thanks for that. And hey, stay safe out there. If you got to venture out into Labrina, maybe bring a buddy with you from Holodrum so you can venture the wilds together. After all, it's dangerous to go alone.